Hey, it's Sneaky Linux back, and today we're going to have a look at Deepup. Now, this is Deepup 458 Beta 4, as far as I remember. So, it is for testing only, but it does work. Not crash too much on me. So, up the top, we've got a little widget bar. We'll use stuff in browser, chat, word processor, spreadsheet, paint, a drive mounter, control panel, install, and a shutdown icons. If you right click on, click on the desktop, you get all the usual icons. And a few extras. Some I got to work, some I didn't. But hey, never mind. So let's say, plenty in the start of everything, but all there. Nice, step, really nice, clean, nice, clear picture, as you can see, which I liked very much so. So we quickly open up the word process that in the spreadsheet, as you can see, not too bad. Sorry about the little bit of lag, but uh, the capture program I'm using don't want to do fast capture rates on Puppy at the moment. But it works. That's the main thing. It works. But if I've got 15, I'd be lucky. Very crashing there, anyway. So anyway, we'll open up the fox. There you go. Comes up. Works nice. Super. Nice, clear. Like it. We'll go to Puppy Linux CA. Comes up. It works. We'll go to Ubliblibu. Now here we have all the puppy packages. Well, a lot of them. And the SFF requirements and puppets and stuff. And lots and lots of things. And all the pet packages for... 3, 4 and 5 versions of Puppy. Number 5 is the test one. We'll go to a different side. We'll go to the BBC. We'll open up one of the sports pages. Eventually. It does work. There you go. Flash does work. So basically if you click here in the little box, you'll get a little video that goes with uh, the Formula 1 from yesterday. So that's pretty good. All comes up nice and clear. It does work. That's all you really need to know on that one, really. Isn't it? And you've got Google as your search, by the way. And blah, 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 blah. We're coming out of him. What else can I show you, really? I'm going to keep this one really quick because it's in testing all the time, so it changes it a lot, you know. So I'm just giving you an overview more than anything else. We'll go down to the system and we'll open up the process viewer. Now, as you can see, the capture program is wanging the processor from there, but I'm using no RAM and no swap. Bearing in mind, I've got a dual core machine I'm using here to do it on. So, yes, that's quite good too, isn't it, Johnny? Good old chap, yes. But yeah, we can show what the process is. Only two running, of course. What else would you think, even? Anyway, go back down to system. I'll show you a bit more. Task manager. Oh, control panels, I think I wanted to show you. They've tied to this up really, really nice. So all your add remove wallpapers, windows managers, wireless, network, schedule themes, and icons and fonts. It all nicely tied it up in one little place with nice icons for a change. Before it was a bit messy. And you've got your drives, file manager, partition. I say USB. Remember, I'm saving this, using this from a PUP save file as well. So oh, don't forget, you can also remaster any of your own PUPs that you want. So you make it how you want to, then burn your own disk, and away you go, and give it to all your friends, and say how brilliant that you really are, don't you think? Right, deep up, usable. Had a couple of crashes myself, but hey, sneaking it out.